I wanted to just go a little bit more into the SketchUp and Revit workflow. Are you swapping to Revit or are you using SketchUp for particular projects and Revit for other projects? How is your kind of workflow with it between the two? It depends on really the client's need. Um, that's what I have been observing at the moment. Um, currently, it depends on the client's need. If client doesn't care what model or what software that they receive or we work on, then we'll pick up whatever that is the best suited for such tests. I still feel Revit is much better in regards to providing quantifiable data as well as the drawing. But when it comes to a bit more visualistic type of modeling, SketchUp is much easier in terms of like valuable product or getting the 3D up to sort of the more visuals and getting stuff inside to make the scene look better or at least to the level that is more believable. Um, so I have been in, uh, frankly, I have started off as a SketchUp user more so than Revit. Um, I just later moved on or picked up both things. I think I know SketchUp more so than Revit, but you know, I don't state that as like, that's how I'm going to be in the future as well. But that's how I go about between two. Um, sometimes some certain tasks are just much better in SketchUp. Therefore, I do it in there and then I carry uh, the data into Revit. I go between. In terms of uh, Rhino and other softwares that are out there, I can't speak much for it because I don't personally use it or I'm not as experienced in that software to discuss what is the best. But I am just generally aware how they are, what they are, because I need to know all the tools that are out there. Um, Absolutely. And I do see a lot better implementation of uh, Rhino um, using either Dynamo or Grasshopper-like interface to get it into Revit. So I feel like that is much more friendlier option if you are uh, proficient with Rhino. Do you use SketchUp BIM? Or, uh, and another question is also, do you use a workflow from SketchUp to Revit or Revit to SketchUp? Or are you using them separately so like just solely on its own the sketchup and solely on its own revit no um i go in between a lot i do export stuff from sketchup into revit and i do export a lot of stuff out of revit into sketchup i go between back and forth and i have sort of introduced those sort of workflow on my channel as well because it's 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 not easy it's complex it always breaks as um, SketchUp versions up, Revit versions up, and they don't like talking to each other. And it's sort of it's very my job. <laughs> it is my job and some some other people's job to make them talk to each other or find a way for them to talk to each other. And interoperability is a huge issue in our industry. But whether we're going to let them solve the problem versus fix on our own, uh, for me, because of my personal trait of if something is broken or it needs fixing, then I can't move on. I have to like focus on this so hard. And because of that, I end up doing it myself. Um, but yeah, I go in between of them a lot. Um, I bring in assets from the SketchUp side, either utilizing just quick modeling inside of uh, SketchUp uh, for visualization and then just bring some of the stuff into Revit so that I can see it in my drawings or at least show it in conjunction with other um, parametric model that is available inside of Revit. Or I get a model from a client that is full fat Revit model, but I'm needing to quickly visualize that for either VR purposes or um, real time rendering or any sort of rendering then I just bring it into SketchUp so I can quickly play that and then get a visualization done. Or sometimes clients require SketchUp because they know SketchUp, but they don't know Revit. So yes. that all depends, but I go between a lot. I'm not really, I mean, in our company, we don't work with SketchUp. Um, we generally use it when the client needs it. But we're not, I wouldn't say, be able to say experts or so forth. We are more inclined towards like Rhino or other products. However, we have a basic knowledge about the SketchUp that when Tecla acquired it, like the Trimble Systems acquired um, SketchUp, they wanted to implement some BIM 
features. Do you use those BIM features or you don't use those at all? You use the traditional SketchUp workflow. It's a bit political <laughs> question there, but I can confidently say I don't use any of the BIM feature that's within SketchUp. What is the reason for that? Is it not good enough or you're not very familiar with it? So it goes back to the sort of, I guess, philosophy in the using software. I pick up the tool, whatever that is most suitable for the test. And I feel like although it has a functionality of, or at least technically it is a BIM software, a BIM package, I don't think it is the best out of what is available to me. So I feel like Revit in regards to BIM is a lot more available and suitable for the test that I'm needing to do. It's just industries just made that way. And I, I use sort of this sort of analogy of when you have a, screw then you want to use a screwdriver to put that thing into the material but when you have a nail then you want to use a hammer to put that through a material but sometimes hammer is the only thing you have and you have a screw then you have to hammer it in <laughs> so uh, it's not the most efficient way it's not most uh, elegant way of doing it but you're gonna get it done and if i have to do bim inside a sketchup i'll do it but it's not the most elegant or proficient way of doing it. But I have both hammer and a screwdriver, then why would I pick up the other? You know, it's just, I go whatever that is suitable for the task. If you didn't see other BIM Talk videos, you can watch Gavin Crump here or Marzia Bopagni. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on.